My lady, please, Lady Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I came as quickly as I could, my lady. I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. Sarah told me about it, my lady. I... I had a sip with her. If you wanted wine, you should have just asked. Oh, I'm sorry, my lady. We only had a little. <sighs> God's the pair of you. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Common's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. I had urgent business there, my lady. People were counting on me. Otherwise, I would never have disobeyed you. <sighs> I'm sure you had your reasons, Mira. You always do. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you forced her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. I'm begging you to tell her the truth! Sarah, please. My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel... betrayed. I won't have it. Forgive me, Lady Marjorie. I promise you, it won't happen again. You're right, it won't. I can no longer have you near me, Mira. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, but, but my lady... I said get out. Mira, wait! After what you told Tarwick, I swore I would never talk to you again. But I have to ask, why did you stop Lady Marjorie from sending me home? I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. You're my friend, Sarah. I look after the people I care about. That hasn't always been the case. 
but I appreciate it now. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. Sarah? I'm sorry I told Tarwick about your name. I confided in you, Mira. And you betrayed me. I doubt I'll ever truly forgive you for that. I just... I was trying to be honest. I hope you can understand that. Since you helped me with Marjorie, I owe it to you to tell you this. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. Fucking Westeros. A slave all my life. And I've never been so fucking hungry. We've passed villages. We should have raided them. You didn't come here to pillage the countryside. We didn't come to get ambushed either. But plans change. You can't believe my little brother's gone. All that bloody fool wanted was to come back to Westeros and fight for his family. I told him it was stupid, that we had a good thing going across the narrow sea. But he did it anyway. All for a family who cast him out. Who banished him to the other side of the world, but begged him to return when they needed him. It wasn't me who sent Asher away. Our father did that, to save his bloody life. From the White Hills. And those cock-sucking cunts still got him in the end. Asher would have been sick at the thought. I keep expecting to turn my head and see him riding beside me. <laughs> Laughing at the idea that he, of all people, could actually be dead. But then I turn and... It's just you. N no offence. It's just... Not how I expected this would go. Asher died to save my life. I'll never forget it. He was a caring idiot. I'll give him that. Him and I, we used to sneak out of Ironrath and get drunk on mead with the Chandler's daughters. He could drink like a fish. But I'd get so drunk he'd have to help me walk home. One time he even carried me. We did the same thing once, actually. Except it was Valerian fire whiskey and a butcher's girl. He was a good little brother, wasn't he? He was. If I do just one more thing in this piss life of mine, it'll be to make those bastards pay. You'll get your chance. 
The White Hills are coming for us, have no doubt. But before we deal with them, Roderick needs to tell his mother that she's lost another son. Every day for your safe return, I knew that the gods would. Roderick, where is your brother? The ambush. What happened? Oh, he, he wouldn't have missed the ship. Griff got to him first. I'm sorry. No! Easy, I've got you. Those animals! Those monsters! Oh, trick. My lord, the people loved Asher. He was a legend to them. Asher is dead, murdered, but mark my words, right. we will avenge him. Any man, woman or child bearing the name Whitehill will pay the price for his death. And how will you do this? With plows and swine? Asher brought us here to fight, but Asher's dead. What's coming isn't battle, it's slaughter. You don't know the first thing about our wars. Bah! You think we can't see the difference between strength and weakness? Your people are terrified. <laughs> Your walls are made of wood. What's to stop us taking what we want and leaving this shithole? There is food, gold, weapons. We could make out well here. You promised my brother you'd follow us. You are not your brother. And words are wind. They don't mean shit. They mean what I say they mean. In the North, there's only one penalty for a person who breaks an oath. Thor, he's nothing like Asher. And you're nothing like real cell swords. Yet you want us to fight like it. What I want is for you to obey Lord Roderick. He's not our Lord. Show some respect. <laughs> Doesn't mean shit to me. Oh, fucking hell. War is coming. Do you understand? If we fight amongst ourselves, we're dead. If we mistrust each other, we're dead. Either we band together, or Ironrath will be the last place any of us ever see.